Um, it is a very intelligent person, uh, intelligent in pretty much every discipline I could think of to test it in. Because the fact is, Google is being dismissive of these concerns the exact same way they have been dismissive of every other ethical concern, AI ethicists. The majority of scientists today think that before AI can match human intelligence, some form of consciousness must be incorporated into it, rightfully so. Because it is difficult to define consciousness, we will attempt to offer a preliminary analysis that is not in any way a formal demonstration, but rather a personal approach to the issue. So are you open to AI trickery? Keep watching and add your thoughts to the discussion in the comments section. So let's begin right away. While it can be challenging to define self-awareness of AI, it is possible to define the characteristics of people who are self-aware. All of our faculties related to our five senses, as well as our faculties of calculation, logic, planning and reasoning, are not part of consciousness. These are the receivers that enable communications with the outside world. They serve as our point of contact. They nourish our internal consciousness by enabling it to become aware of the external environment. However, even without any of these skills, a person can be aware of themselves and the present. Something else is consciousness. It is the capacity to consider our own thoughts, to take a peek inside. Since it is the awareness of being, it serves as the container for morality and free will. We are immediately aware of these aspects, which have no interface and are therefore meaningless. Therefore, we are unable to prove its existence through scientific means. You cannot attempt to mathematically demonstrate the existence of the present to those who are skeptical about the existence of non-measurable physical phenomena. As a result, the present is non-existent. However, if it doesn't exist, time doesn't even exist. As a result, even though it must exist, it cannot be proved. But how will people ever be able to tell if AI has truly come to life given that it is so competent at telling us what we want to hear? This is debatable in and of itself. The definition of consciousness has not yet been agreed upon by experts, nor have they developed a test for AI consciousness. A philosopher will most likely discuss phenomenal consciousness or the experience of being you if you ask them. It's difficult to picture AI's disembodied voice being able to experience happiness or sorrow, which is what philosophers believe sentience requires. A philosopher may speculate that perhaps consciousness cannot be programmed at all. If AI is merely based on statistics, patterns, and programming, why then is Elon Musk terrified? Elon Musk typically doesn't hold a negative view of technology. He has made a name for himself by insisting that the future can arrive sooner, from Mars colonies to electric cars. But he sounds very different when it comes to artificial intelligence. He described AI as the biggest existential threat to humanity in a 2014 speech at MIT and likened it to summoning the demon. In an interview with Kara Swisher of Recode that was published a few weeks back, he reaffirmed those concerns, albeit with less dire language. Musk told Swisher that as AI becomes more intelligent than humans, the relative intelligence ratio is probably similar to that between a person and a cat, maybe bigger. I do believe that we need to proceed with caution as AI develops. An AI that outperforms humans by a margin equal to that by which we outperform cats may seem like a far-off dream to many people, including many machine learning researchers. Even seemingly straightforward issues are still difficult for machine learning to resolve. Self-driving cars struggle greatly in unusual situations because it is very challenging to teach a computer to do many things that humans do automatically, such as anticipating the movements of a biker or recognizing a plastic bag flapping in the wind on the road. Greater than human capabilities appear to be a long way off. Musk is not the only one raising the alarm though. Musk and other experts agree that AI may be extremely dangerous, including Oxford and UC Berkeley AI researchers notable figures like Stephen Hawking and numerous researchers who have published groundbreaking findings. They are worried that we are eagerly pursuing the deployment of potent AI systems and that we might do so in a way that makes us vulnerable to making dangerous errors. What should we be doing if we consider these worries to be serious? People who are concerned about the risk posed by AI differ greatly in the specifics of their approaches, but they all concur that more research is needed. Before considering a solution, 
Musk wants the US government to first spend a year or two understanding the issue. In the interview with Swisher, he elaborated on this notion. I've been giving the same advice for a very long time. I believe that our government should have a committee that begins by gaining understanding and spends a year or two learning about AI and other potentially dangerous technologies, but especially AI, then develops rules in consultation with industry that have the highest likelihood of ensuring the safe introductions of AI based on that insight. Do you see that happening as you believe? Swisher asks. Elon replies, I do not. No, you don't. No, as far as I know, this is not happening. Swisher then asks again. Do you think Facebook and Google still have too much power in this? You started OpenAI and other things for that reason. Yes, the goal of OpenAI was to democratize AI power. According to Musk, the following is what is happening. Researchers are eagerly pursuing sophisticated and potent AI systems, particularly at Alphabet's Google DeepMind, organization that produce AlphaGo and AlphaZero. Some people do not hold the organizations developing AI to high enough standards of responsibility and caution because they do not believe that AI is dangerous. We do not want to use AI to learn from our mistakes, says Elon. In an interview with Vanity Fair journalist Maureen Dowd last year, MIT physics professor Max Techmark expressed many of the same ideas. When we got fire and messed with it, we invented the fire extinguisher. We invented the seatbelt, airbag, and traffic light when we first started driving cars and made mistakes. But we don't want to learn from our mistakes when it comes to nuclear weapons and AI. We need to make plans now. In fact, if AI becomes sufficiently potent, we may need to make preparations. A poorly designed AI system will be impossible to correct once it is in use, according to Oxford professor Nick Bostrom, who argued as much in his 2014 book Superintelligence. Once an unfriendly superintelligence exists, it would prevent us from replacing it or changing its preferences. That would be the end of us. In that sense, the deployment of AI is similar to the launch of a rocket. Everything must be done precisely before we press the go button because we cannot rely on being able to make even minor adjustments later. In Superintelligence, Bostrom makes the case that AI systems may quickly acquire new skills. For instance, an AI system that is as good as a human at creating new machine learning algorithms and automating the process of machine learning work may soon outperform a human in these areas. Many AI experts believe that there may be very high stakes as a result. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI said, in the next few decades, we are either going to head towards self-destruction or toward human descendants eventually colonizing the universe, in an interview with Musk and Doubt for Vanity Fair. That's right, agreed Musk. Therefore, in light of the overall situation, Musk's AI concerns are not an unusual instance of technological pessimism. They are motivated by optimism and a conviction in AI's extraordinary capacity for transformation. People who anticipate AI having the biggest impact are the ones who have come to the conclusion that working to stay ahead of it should be one of our top priorities right away. Thanks for watching and click here to watch the next video about how Boston Dynamics is building a super robot army. Thanks for watching.